job. Uh, so when you add up the rent he hasn't paid the past three months, the money that I lent him uh, right before Christmas time, Monday, and Friday, all the money I spent bailing him out of jail during his last poor floor bender, so T-Bird owes me a grand total so of two thousand four hundred and eighty three dollars and Sparks, are you listening to me? See, they have rings on their fingers. It means that they're married. And what they do is they bang other married people. I don't think that's exactly what the rings are supposed to symbolize, Sparks. But they can bang other married people. No, dumbass. Married people only bang each other, but like all the time. So much that they don't even like banging anymore. Just look at Cindy Crawford and Seal or George and Barbara Bush. Who the fuck would fuck Barbara Bush? How do you know so much about marriage? Well, I've never been married myself, but I do know a thing or two about supporting a worthless loser that can't keep their clothes on. Dude, T-Bird's got to go. Let's keep it going. We're going to bring up our next comedian. Uh, his name is Sparks. He wants me to let you know that he has a downward, downward facing penis that will be sure to hit the ladies' G spot. Give it up, everybody, for Sparks. See, tomorrow I'm gonna give me a Miss Sparks, and we're gonna bang like fucking crazy. Dude, don't you mean a Mrs. Sparks? You know that the Flavor fucked my life up. I'm trying to get my shit back together here, man. Let me in! Look, man. It's been really hard for me. I've been sleeping in dumpsters. I did some stuff on Colfax I'm not too proud of. I got this taste in my mouth. I can't shake it. I mean, I'm not like Diddy, man. I'm way too... supple and tender for that. Hey, Bird. What? Can I have this? It's starting to get cold outside. I don't give a shit! That's my throne! Now get out of here, you goddamn hobo! Beats, what do you say? Come on, old time's sake? Not until you pay me $2,483.68. I've got the 68 cents. That's enough for a night, right? <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Sparks. You are now a married man with a beautiful wife. Her name is Belda. I'll tell you, Voodoo, moments like these make me a truly happy man. And remember, Mr. Sparks. All the sales are final! <laughs> da? Oh, spasiba! Woo! Congratulations to the lovely new couple, Mr. Jeremiah and, um, Spelda Sparks. May wonderful days of raunchy, disgusting sex happen now. Lots of dirty sex. Hey, uh, Beats kicked you out? Yeah, man. Fucking asshole says I owe him, like, $2,103 or something like that. But all I've got is, like, 15 cents. That's actually why I came over here. Do you think you can help a brother out with, like, 2,500 bucks? I can't. I would. But I bought, spelled his ring. That hat cost $2,000, a bracelet, a necklace, an iPad, and, and a Lexus. So the bitch has expensive taste. That doesn't mean you can't fucking help your friend. All right, but it's for love. This is different than everything. You fuck your love. I'm going to. Hey, dog, dog, 
Oh, babe. Yeah. You need more cigarettes. Okay. Oh. I'll be right back. Uh, T. I need anything? Yeah, fucking twenty-five hundred dollars in cash. So, Mr. Bird, I heard you need some money. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Bird. Welcome. Now my assistant, Jumbo, will be performing the surgery along with Mrs. Sparks. Uh-huh. And after the kidney is safely extracted, then you will be paid. Fifteen thousand dollars. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, where is my finder's fee? And remember, Mr. Bird, all sales are final. <laughs> I don't know if I know about this anymore. I mean, are you guys sure that you know you know what you're doing? Don't worry, little man. When I removed my kidney, I was in a playground, and my father sent me back to school afterwards. That motherfucker. So it's like no big deal. But I mean, do I have to like fucking stay awake for this shit? Nope. Spell that. I got a song for you, baby. I wanna fuck you as you dance, girl. I gotta keep it up to the dawn tomorrow. I'm gonna suck your titties, fuck your roll. Hey, you need to get out of the shower what? now. Uh, I, I just, I, uh, I'm shampooing my hair. I'll be out in like five minutes. I don't tell you, dog. I need to wash off blood. What? Are you okay? Oh. You have a huge ding dong. And it is carved. Mind if I jump in? Ooh, it is shaped like a crazy straw. But it also sucks because it can then used to happen like constantly. Well, the other day. Look at that. Dude, I thought she wanted to kill him. But I think they might actually be in love. Well, Beats. Marriage is based on commitment and strong values. It's funny, really. I think we can learn a lot from Sparks. Well, boys, here's love and me and my newfound well. Plus, check it out. I have this sweet, gnarly scar. <laughs> Bird, you should not be out drinking. Dude, like, you got your kidney out like six hours ago. Hell yeah, I should have saved me money because I get way drunker, way faster. Which is good news, because guess what, boys? It's party night! <laughs> Alright, everybody, keep it going, huh? How excellent was that? Oh shit, that was hilarious. Uh, our next comedian, everybody, uh, his name is Sparks, and he wanted to dedicate this next, uh, his whole set tonight to the love of his life, his wife, Spelda, and he promises to Pound her with his donkey kong dick. Jesus Christ, I'm not reading this. Give it up, everybody, for Sparks, huh? <laughs>